So the final parameter I wanted to look at with Schottky diodes was reverse leakage current. And uh, once again, this is the 90SQ035 9-amp Schottky diode. And I wanted to show why this diode actually makes quite a good solar blocking diode. So if we look at the sinometer, I've actually got it on the 200 microamp range. So that's 9.2 microamps, so about 10-ish microamps of leakage. You can see that the diode is pointing towards the positive terminal of the battery. So normally this orientation would be for uh, putting current into the battery, but I'm looking at current that's coming back out and flowing through the diode the wrong way, if you like. And it is a very small um, current, 9 microamps. But let's have a look at what happens at night when it gets cold. So that's very cold. And it goes down to teeny tiny amounts, one microamp. So if it gets freezing at night, you're even better off because um, the leakage uh, back through the diode is extremely low. And of course that's what you want because at night you've got no solar energy coming in. You want the minimum amount going out. Um, that's creeping up now as it's getting warmer three microamps and so on. But this thing is alarmingly temperature dependent so I'm going to start warming it up and uh, we'll see what happens. Right I've mounted the camera so it's fixed so let's give this a go. Dodgy heat gun, here we go. Right, that's blown the 200 microant range, so let's go for the 2000. That's the 2000 microamps. This is 20 milliamps. the 20 milliamp range and now the 200 milliamp range. Right, you can see we're over 150 milliamps. I'm not going to go any further because this meter is only rated at 200 milliamps. Um, but you can see that by getting that diode hot it gets to alarming amounts of reverse leakage. 200 milliamps, I mean that's ridiculous. But, having said that, and we're now dropping down to about 20 milliamps, um, it is at least thermally the right way round, because as I say, at night, uh, when you want the leakage to be minimum, the cool uh, conditions would give rise to a much lower uh, leakage. So I'll go back to 2000 microamps. Yeah, it's just dropped into that range. And eventually when that diode cools down, it'll go back to about 10 microamps.